Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, well, we're going to hear Radio Romania on three different radios. And the first one is going to be the Kenwood R5000, then it's going to be the ICOM ICRD500, and then we're going to end with the Texan H501X. Much more modern, much less expensive um, when you think about it. So uh, 7375, the noise you hear over it is Cuban jamming. So if you hear noise, it's the Cuban jamming that's not been turned off and is actually interfering with Radio Romania tonight. So let's start with the standard AM filter on the uh, Kenwood R5000 receiver. And now let's go with the ICOM ACR D500. Really dominating Cuban jamming tonight. Romanian Foreign Minister Bogdan Aurescu said Monday that the massacre in Bucha was Russia's responsibility as the war crimes happened during the Russian occupation of the area. The statement was made during debates staged by the think tank New Strategy Center attended by the Estonian Foreign Minister Eva Maria Limet, who traveled to Bucharest at Aurescu's invitation. We want to do everything we can to stop this illegal war against Ukraine, and we must do everything we can to bring to justice all those responsible for this massacre. Aurescu also said he pleaded for fresh sanctions against Russia and for the consolidation of NATO's eastern flag. The two ministers are attending a conference to discuss the Russian aggression against Ukraine and how to build a more quickly in NATO eastern flag from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea. Talks also are looking at ways to further develop bilateral ties, in particular economic and sectoral cooperation, and to expand cooperation with regional alliances. The two states are both. And now let's go to the Texan H501X. And the Bucharest 9. The two officials are also expected to inaugurate an exhibition to celebrate the 100 years of bilateral relations between Romania and Estonia. In turn, the that Russia must be further isolated politically and economically, adding that it is important for the Russian-Ukrainian negotiations to be held in the with military Russia. Eva Maria Limet also said that there is no more trust in Russia, so NATO's security, deterrence and defense portion has to be further consolidated. And that was the news coming to you from Karest Radio Romania International. Amazing sound quality of the Texan. And back to the Kenwood R5000 receiver. Eyewitnesses and there are in photo and video evidence. In Bucha alone, from 
300 people were buried in mass graves. Ukraine authorities say, accusing the Russian army of massacring the people of this town and committing atrocities in other towns that have been liberated. Russia has deployed Ukraine's accusation, claiming the image and its corpses were doctored. The West was appalled by the images and said it would introduce new sanctions against Moscow. Although more is expected of its leaders, as Russia recently announced its true goal is the destruction of Ukraine. The tone changed in Bucharest as well. The first that part of the said the West the images of Russia and other Ukrainian cities is a message to the whole world that is illegal aggression of the soft and the people responsible to become accountable. Russia's invasion in Ukraine has terrible, unspeakable consequences. The images from Russia and other cities in Ukraine should remind the whole world we need to stop this illegal aggression and the conflict must gain. International justice must prevail. permanent international court of law Let's go to the icon on my CRD 500. The Russian soldiers. Children, women, civilians abused and killed in cold blood away their justice. The Prime Minister wrote on the government's Twitter page. Prime Minister Bogdan Aurescu firmly condemned the atrocities in Russia and other cities and asked that the culprits be brought before the International Court of Justice. The President of the Republic of Moldova, Asando, expressed her shock. On Monday, a day of national mourning in memory of the victims killed so far in Ukraine. We were shocked by the massacre at Bucha. Moldova firmly condemns his crimes against humanity, as well as this illegal and unprovoked war launched by the Russian Federation against Ukraine. President And now let's go back to the Texan H five hundred one X. So I think uh, we can say that the Texan h one x is doing an excellent job and uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, you know, you would have told me when I bought my Kenwood R5000 in 1990 that a two or $300 receiver would be as good pretty much. Um, I would tell you, get out of here. But uh, it's just showing you that today's technology has reached a point where those old analog desktops, they're nice, they're beautiful, but they are lacking in uh, you know performance compared to maybe some of the latest, newest technologies of desktop. But even then, um, things have gotten really, really good for much lower price today um, just amazing when you think about it so what's your verdict uh keep in mind the kenwood r5000 isn't fair it doesn't have its own speaker external speaker it's on the internal but still kind of get the drift and get an idea of uh, how all of these radios actually perform and the sound of the h501x is just amazing also if you enjoy my videos please subscribe 
give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.